One day, and this is not cap, I know everything y'all think is petty and I don't care. <laughs> I stand on what I say and what I mean. Also, it's a lot of people who I've gone through this with, right? This same type. Y'all been in lives and all kind of like, nigga, we can see you. <laughs> I just want to eat coochie, pay bills, and be a good stepdaddy. Is that too much to ask for? You know what I'm saying? What's up, y'all? You know, uh, we starting off this video kind of different because, you know, since I got an audience or whatever, <laughs> you know, y'all love to pull up for the drama, honey. So, let's tap in. I got to brush my teeth real fast, get cute, because this ain't it, all right? I got my, my ratchet ass bonnet looking thing on, okay? All my titties is taking over the whole screen and shit. Let me just give me a give me a second. Oh, that look better. <laughs> that look real better. Let's go sit down. Ah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today I'm back with another reaction. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm back with another what? Uh exposure video right somebody um has come out again and has exposed me for being this uh, uh i guess this person they want me to be now before we get started i want to address a couple of com uh, a couple comments because the one of the comments i keep seeing is this is not real because neek would have been mad right y'all been like neek would have been mad neek would have went off if this was that case Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all right now. When you go through shit like this, you grow through shit like this. You get what I'm saying? I'm very punctual. I know what I'm saying these days. My mind is very clear. And I know my mission, right? And that's what people are having an issue with because I stand on what I say. Okay? So whether you think I'm right, whether you think I'm wrong, I'm going to stand on it regardless. You, you get what I'm saying? So in this case, there's no need for me to be upset. You know what I'm saying? To be quite frank with you, I'm about to tell y'all exactly what happened. All situations come from uh, miscommunication, misinterpretation, and most importantly, uh, comprehension. Some people just don't comprehend what you're saying. And it also depends on the climate of what they have going on or what you have going on, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get into what happened. Before we do that, I just need to have me a little, you know, pull me up a little juice. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to call that little juice. I pour a little juice for the situation. All right. Let's get into what happened. One day, and this is not cap, I know everything y'all think is petty, and I don't care. <laughs> I stand on what I say and what I mean. Also, it's a lot of people who I've gone through this with, right this same type shit y'all been in lives and all kind of shit like nigga we can see you <laughs> but welcome welcome back um maybe you you could get something about where i was coming from in that situation uh, or not i don't know why you watching but tune in so literally one day cuz did not answer the phone for 24 hours 24 whole hours right and I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. She grown. She pay her own phone bill, baby. I can't I can't tell her when to answer her phone, when not to answer her phone, and what to do. I cannot do that. Um, so I'ma just, I'ma wait, right? She didn't answer the phone for 24 hours. I just I let it go. You know, hopefully she okay. I'm praying on it. And I'ma mind my business. Now the following day, <laughs> I needed something from her that she had of mine for business, right? Me friendships business that has been my biggest i don't even want to say downfall that's been my biggest obstacle with people these past several years when it comes to business and friendship right see in friendships and you translate over the business people feel like you still got to put the friendship over the business and that's not me i put business over the friendship because i got shit to do right that's when i'm not emotionally available i'm not when it comes to business, ain't no emotions. Once again, catch flights, not feeling. So I need 
for you to answer this phone because I need something from you that's involved in business. Now, what I did was I hit her up again. Remember, this is the next day. <clears throat> She's still not answering the phone. I'm like, yo, cuz, all right, what's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? Not that I, I don't, I'm not insecure. I don't feel like it's me. I know I didn't do anything to you. We didn't have an argument or anything. So what the fuck is going on? Why aren't you answering the phone? Are you alive? Was my point. So she ends up answering the phone and it, it, it kind of like, she, she sounded like she was asleep or something. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, cause I don't know what the hell you got going on, but I need you to A, answer the phone. Cause I ain't talked to you in 24 hours. And I need, you know, what I need for business. She told me that she needed to take that, that day for herself, as she should, grown-ass woman, take that day for herself, but she did not tell me that prior to. Now, y'all are probably like, she didn't have to. No, she didn't. But I promise you, had she did, we wouldn't be having all this confusion that we're having right now. Now, me, when I'm upset or I'm, I have something going on in my life, she call, I don't pick up, I send a quick text. Cuz, today ain't the day. And I know my attitude Going through shit with people, I know how I react. So I'll let you know, I don't want to take anything out on you. I don't want to bother you. I don't want to, uh, you know, disrespect you because I'm, I'm feeling my way. I simply cannot talk to you right now. I will hit you up later. She'll say, all right, cuz, you know, I just make sure you good. I'm good. She didn't do any of that for me. You know what I'm saying? I want this. I wanted that to be reciprocated. And that's not what I got. Strike one is expectations. You can't expect shit from people, especially what they do for you. Uh, what you do for them. Okay. So she didn't do that. I'm already on edge. Cause you ain't picked up the phone. I'm worried. I'm nerves all bad. I don't know what the hell going on. You ain't posting or nothing. So she, I said, cause you got what I need or not. Nah. Cause at, at this point I'm aggravated. Now you're, <laughs> you're alive. You telling me you had to take a day. Cool. But you couldn't even let a nigga know I had to take a day. And if we do business, how the hell I'm gonna speak to you. If we do business, and you ain't picking up the damn phone. How are we going to do business you don't pick up the phone? I, I, I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, she texts me because I got off the phone. All right. So, she texts me like, did I do something wrong to you because I'm not, I'm not understanding the tone. So, I'm instantly pissed now. I'm not going to lie. I know I was pissed and I know she ended up getting pissed. Because she feel like I'm giving her a tone, which I was. Y'all, Nick don't ever take accountability. I am the first. I gave her a tone because I feeling like, you know, why the hell, <laughs> why the hell you couldn't just pick up the phone? A and B, you asking me too many questions. I need what I need. So she felt like I was rushing her. That was disrespect number one. She felt like I was rushing her. So she got on the phone and, you know, got to speaking to me like I was, like she was my mama. Okay. She told me that I was going to change my tone. And she told me that, um, what she said, I was, you, you going to change your tone with me. And, you know, we're not going to agree to disagree on, on what we're agreeing to, de agreeing to disagree on. Okay. And I, me, my midway now for people is we're going to agree to disagree. Because I feel how I feel. You feel how you feel. I cannot make you feel a different way. That's something that I used to do. Accountability. Try to make somebody feel where I'm coming from and make them. And they don't. <laughs> I learned that from the last situation. You cannot make a person do shit. But especially feel a different way than how they already feel, right? So she was trying to make me feel where she was coming from and I wasn't at all. And that's when I just realized like I'm not, like I'm just not emotionally available for none of this shit. And not just dealing with her, dealing with people outside of my relationship. I'm not. <laughs> like I'm going to give you an example. And I have to bring up the last situation because A, y'all watching all in the on the live and shit. And B... Um, in, in the comments as well, I forgot. Uh, and, and, and B, in that situation, one of them was mad because I didn't, because I put her in it. And now Toot saying, I should have told her, right? So I'm bringing that up because you can't win with people. First of all, I love Toot. We are doing great. So that is not a shot to Toot. Toot, like Nick, you could have told me what was going on. So I don't want to be in the middle of it. In the last situation... You shouldn't have told me because I don't want to be involved. My point is with people and how they feel, it's nothing I could do. Nothing will ever be right to, to make other people happy. 
You get what I'm saying? After that last situation, I just knew to focus on my happiness, mine. I'm, I was too busy trying to please everybody else. And see, that's not for me anymore. Because you end up playing yourself every time. You're going to be the bad guy every time. And I just refuse. So, she got to speaking to me like she was my mama. And I wasn't having that shit. Who are you talking to? <laughs> so, that's when it went, it went all the way left. I'm going to just say that. I don't want to go into detail about how left it went. How bad we got to talking. You know what I'm saying? Towards each other. But y'all wanted to know what happened. And that's what happened. See, the thing is, people think that. Shit is petty. That shit petty. That, uh, whatever. I like to speak about what goes on every day. Well, in, in everyday life, and this is why I need to start vlogging. In everyday life, shit that really actually happens. Shit that just happened to y'all yesterday. And y'all in my comments talking about that's petty. <laughs> shit is petty. But shit happens. <laughs> you know, with women, especially women in business, we feel a certain type of way about certain things, right? Me... I am not at all, not even a little bit, emotionally available for anybody outside of my family and my woman. So does that mean, Nick, you don't need friends? Probably. Accountability, y'all. Y'all, see, one thing with people, it's like, I want you to tell me the truth. But when I tell you the truth, you can't handle that shit. Mm -mm. I bow to anything today. Girl, if, it, if me with jobs, I used to say, fuck that job. Y'all, I will quit a job and don't have one dollar saved up. You hear me? My peace has always been worth way more. But today, today, it's worth more than anything in this world. I got shit going on in my own. I got my own family I got to take care of. Mama getting old. Daddy getting old. Granny still alive, but <laughs> she ain't getting no younger. I genuinely don't have time for anything and anybody else in their shit. And if you feel like I'm bringing shit to you, you should not have time for me. You get what I'm saying? So, cuz if you watching this, listen, when it comes to your emotions and, and you feeling a way about anything, I simply don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't. And, and people want the truth, like I said, I'm going to let you know the truth. I have other shit to worry about. And I'm cool with that. Once again, I know how to deal with me. I'm happier by myself. You know what I'm saying? So, I, at, at this point in my life, I genuinely want to deal with who, who, who want to deal with me. I actually just dropped a brand. www.stubpoppy.com Me and two having a meet and greet. Juneteenth. Tickets will be on sale. Uh, excuse me. Tickets on sale right now, actually. The link is in my description. You either on godly or you on demon time. I actually got my own slipper line. You know what I'm saying? Called Project Plus Sneakers. I don't have time to worry about nobody else. You know what I'm saying? And y'all could take this as arrogance. <laughs> Neat this fake because you ain't going off. Girl, after, after a while, ain't no point going off. I promise you. We got a little heated on that live yesterday because Cuz got a way of, of trying me. <laughs> but I promise you, there's no reason for me to be upset. And for the people that's going through this, I hope and pray y'all learn something from me. Be selfish with you. And that's about to go on a shirt. But be selfish with you. Be selfish with you and your shit. And you want to know why I say that? At the end of the day, every L I've taken, I had to take it alone. I started with other people, all the other people that's watching right now. Don't watch no other video till the drama come. I'm so glad. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad I made the right decision. When shit hit the fan, you take the L by yourself. You take that L alone. Do you hear me? So when I realized I, I got to take my L's alone, I don't give a fuck about the rest. Okay, so what were we at? About 14 minutes? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, I'm done with this video. Um, I simply want to say uh, I love everybody and I respect all. But you ain't going to ever disrespect me. I must always stand on what I say. And emotionally right now, I'm only available for TT and my family. All right. Um, all the links to everything that I have that I just named. It's in my bio. You dig what I'm saying? 
Tap in, especially that meet and greet that we having. Uh, uh, when is it? June 17th. Neek wrote a clip of the venue. <laughs> I gotta pour up my cup for this one. I gotta pour up my cup for this one. Mini got them vibes. Let's go. Up. It's been a long time coming. Ha, how can I forget? I can never lose what a bitch thought. Cause I'm the queen of this shit. Fuck a friend, this shit irrelevant. If you got beef, better settle Cause it. Cause bitch, my bag is up and I don't give a fuck. And I'm the wrong nigga to be played with. Friend of my enemy. No, I can't fuck with no enemies. You are still in my energy. Damn, I thought you was a friend of me. Hmm. Y'all pull up. Cause if you don't, then that's just crazy. <laughs> that's what's wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, hell yeah.